Hi there. I'm so excited that I get to talk to you today. Thank you so much for downloading my free gift, Six Reasons Why a Sister Retreat is Better Than a Vacation. I really hope that you enjoy my e-magazine. I so see a life where you have all of the tools you need to be completely free from anything that enslaves you, where you have all the time you need to do all of the things that you love, where you have the energy that you need to accomplish your dreams and your goals and look and feel your best, where you have healthy, happy, loving, nurturing relationships and where you have work that you are truly passionate about. Isn't it time for you to be free of anything that stops you from experiencing that? Are you willing to invest in that life? I really hope you are because you are so deserving, more than you can ever imagine. So my prayer is, that you walk away today with something that made you say, hmm, I hadn't thought about that before. And I would be so excited if you really began making changes today. So will you do me a favor and stick around to the end of this video because I'm going to make you a special invitation so that you can jumpstart that new life today. So look, I so get it, sis. I really, really do. Trust me, I do. You have a lot going on, a whole lot going on. You have to be the strong black woman to everybody all the time. And the thing is, this strong black woman thing is killing us. As a group, black women are more at risk for heart disease, stress, hypertension, more than any other group. You may be going through relationship issues, family drama, parenting dilemmas, financial struggles, and maybe even some health challenges. And this shows up, right, as stress, anxiety, not sleeping well, headaches, edginess, and it adds up. It weighs on your heart and your soul and your mind and eventually this stuff will manifest one way or the other. And because of everything on your plate, you are the last person on your to-do list. But you know, isn't it time to break free of that? I mean, don't you just wanna be free, like real freedom, right? Like kids playing in the grass. But here's the thing, and this may sting a little, but your world is a reflection of the value that you place on yourself. Let me say that again. Your world is a reflection of the value you place on yourself. So what does your world honestly look like? And I want you to think about that right now. Ask yourself, what does my spiritual life look like? What is my emotional and mental health life like? What are my finances really like? What about my work and my playtime? And what about my relationships? If there's anything less than bliss, and I'm not talking about all the time, but most of the time, if there's anything less than optimism, again, not all the time, but most of the time, anything less than stability, than peace and joy, then I pray that you continue to listen to what I have to share with you. And I wanna ask you another question. When was the last time that you really relaxed for more than a day or two? One of my clients shared with me that she doesn't even know how to relax anymore because she's always moving from one thing to another. And I'm not talking about a vacation with her, which are wonderful, right? We all love vacations. But you know, sometimes you go on vacation and you end up doing the same thing that you do at home, or you're so busy running around or if it's a fa family vacation, you're taking care of everyone else, doing family stuff, that you end up going back home, needing a vacation from your vacation. Now, don't get me wrong, I love vacations, right? Girlfriend trips and family trips and trips with your mate, they are necessary. 
But right now, I'm going to share something with you about a you vacation. So I'm going to ask you another question. When was the last time that you really gave your life some serious self-reflection for an extended period of time? I'm not talking about praying daily, weekly, or going to church. That's just the basics. I'm talking about going beyond that so that you can thrive, not just maintain or survive or just get by. What I'm talking about is the equivalent of spring cleaning or an annual checkup where you really examine every crack and crevice of your life. You know, ask yourself where you've been, check in with how you're doing and connect with the divine wisdom within you to direct you to where you're going next. Okay, so before I get to answer those questions with you, I have to make a confession. I am a retreat junkie. I really am. But you know what? I do not feel bad because I happen to be in very good company. Spiritual masters from the beginning of time, like Jesus, right? Buddha, Gandhi, plus super successful people like Miss Oprah herself, Bill Gates, Richard Branson, they all retreat regularly. And so I'm just saying, if it works for them, maybe we should consider it, right? Okay, so back to my story. So for years, I would go on retreats and I would do detox retreats and meditation retreats and yoga retreats. But when I would go, I felt like I was the only sister there, right? Like, where are the sisters at? And it just kind of left me feeling like, hmm, I would love to do something, retreat with black women. But, you know, at some point, life got in the way or I let life get in the way and I stopped making retreats a priority. And then I got sucked into this high profile, high paying job. I was really at the top of my career as a lawyer. I was making money, but I was stressed. I was looking good, but I was anxious. I felt like I was always working on tight ropes. And honestly, I started to sell myself out thinking that I was looking good and doing stuff what I needed to do just for appearances. But then life bitch slapped me, palau. And I was fired from this job and publicly humiliated. I was stabbed in the back by people who I really thought were friends. And I just thought I was gonna lose it. But little did I know that it was God's way of telling me I needed to do a detour, a major detour in my life. You know, I have to honestly say that there were signs along the way, right? There were whispers, but I wasn't following my head. I wasn't following my heart. And I wasn't trying to hear that at the time. Unfortunately for me, it took heartbreak. It took embarrassment and humiliation and a career crisis for me to wake up. But thankfully, I had the chance to really take some serious time out and take some stock in my life and to really begin to study and to implement the concepts that I kind of kind of knew, sort of believed, but really didn't know in my heart of hearts, you know? And when I finally did that, when I finally did that, I had my awakening. And for the first time in my life, I woke up. And I have to tell you, that ever since then, life has been so full of joy. I mean, it's like, I, sometimes I can't even believe this is my life that I'm living. My priorities shifted, things started to just come easy to me. I found love without looking for it. And now I'm so excited about my future every day. like. Most of the time, honestly, most of the time, I wake up really looking forward to my day. And so because I'm a lawyer, I'm a lifelong student and a learner, and probably a little too analytical for my own good, I had to break down what I learned and how I learned it in a really practical and logical way. And because I'm a giver and a helper, I knew that I needed to share this with my sisters because I figured if it worked for my hard-headed ass, then it could work for anyone. 
And so Black Butterfly Journeys was born. But look, you do not have to be like me and wait for the smackdown or wait until you're sick and tired of being sick and tired to take the time that you need to make the changes for yourself. You can do it now. And that's what a Black Butterfly Retreat is all about. It's a get your life vacation. It's time to do some self-reflection and connect with your divine nature. And when you do that, when you really do that, miracles will begin to naturally happen. You know, because they're waiting for you. They're just waiting for us. And when you're on a black butterfly journey, you don't have to do anything, right? You don't have to worry about what you're gonna do, where you're gonna go, what you're gonna see. I create a retreat, a tailor-made retreat, just for you to suit your distinct taste. And unlike a, a solo trip or trip with your family where you have to end up planning everything, on our Black Butterfly journey, everything is taken care of you, all for you. All you have to do is show up. All of your creature comforts are, are taken care of in a luxurious and amazing environment that is conducive for reflection and contemplation. Your job is to just be. Now, when was the last time you did that? And my job is to take care of you. And when was the last time you really let someone take care of you or had the opportunity to let someone take care of you? And by the way, let me reiterate, this is not like a rough in it type of situation, right? I don't believe that I need to be in a sparse or rough environment to be close to God. I can do that in luxury just fine. Thank you very much. You know, because I really believe that the universe is a kind, loving, and abundant place. That God has so much prosperity for us. That God wants us to live in joy and peace. All we have to do is just get into the flow of it. And that's the beauty of the retreat. It'll, it allows you to get into the flow of life the way it's supposed to be. You know, we've gotten so busy, so overwhelmed, so stressed. And everybody around us is experiencing that, that we think it's normal, but it's not normal. It's just common and never mistake common for normal. What is normal is that you are in the flow of life. What's normal is for things to come to you easily without a whole lot of efforting and hard work. What's normal is for you to feel genuinely happy and optimistic about your life. What's normal is for you to be healthy and whole and strong. But unfortunately, in this country, in our communities, it's not too common. And I know that if you're still watching this video, you are anything but common and you are ready to live the uncommon life. So I want to share some heartfelt words from women who have joined us on this uncommon journey, who've joined past retreats. So this is what Charlene had to say when we went to our Mexico retreat. She said the retreat was wonderful. It was life-changing. Once I uncovered what was going on in my life, I realized that I needed to change my mindset and create an action plan for the things that I wanted. I learned new skills that I can continue to use every day. I feel self-improved and eager to work on my personal goals. Now, I have a vision for myself, my family, and my love life. I feel so renewed. And this is what Liz had to say when we went to our Gullah retreat a few years ago. Traveling with Regine has been absolutely life-changing. She chooses locations with the intent of opening your heart. She serves as an excellent guide while giving you the space to grow and learn on your own throughout the trip. Her guidance allowed me to find out so many things about myself and I will never be the same. And did you see all the pictures from our sacred journey to Haiti? Well, Stacy summed it up when she said this, I am still in the overflow. Thank you so much, Regine, for every aspect of my Haiti retreat. I am so full of love, compassion, joy, peace, along with so many other emotions that I cannot describe and I've never felt before. 
I am so changed. I am transformed. I am free. And one of the most powerful words came from Dolores. And this is what she said. She was able to release pain that she had been holding on to for over 45 years. 45 years. And so every woman who comes on retreat actually has this level of transformation. They either come away with something intangible, like letting go of pain or, or, or feeling renewed or something tangible, like creating an action plan for their lives or a book. One of uh, the women from the Mexico retreat actually wrote 60% of the book that she had been having in her heart for years. But on the retreat, she was able to take some time and get away from home and get away from her business and her husband and her kids and actually work on this project that she had been wanting to do for so many years. And another woman who was kind of going through a career transition, you know, one of the things that I love to do on the retreats is do some sort of out of the box get out of your comfort zone activity that really helps solidify the transformation. And so in Mexico, we climbed on this high mountain, we jumped to a 20 foot, um, uh, not ocean, but river. And one of the women, Riddell, was kind of struggling through what her next steps was with her business. And and when, we, when she got on top of the mountain, we were all shouting, Riddell, do it, jump, jump jump for your business and she jumped and she was able to realize that if i could do this if i could face my fear and jump that i can do that in my business and and, and i'm telling you riddell has never looked back and finally in, in our haiti retreat one of our out of the comfort zone activities was getting on horses and climbing on up to this very steep mountain. And one of the women had been struggling with weight for, for many years and, and she realized as she was climbing up this mountain, it was really hard for her uh, because of her weight. And, and she realized that, you know, climbing up this mountain is very much like dealing with my weight. I have to do it one step at a time, one day at a time, not think about what's gonna happen five steps ahead, but just one step at a time. And it really helped her to, to, to finally get a hold of, of, of this challenge for her. And another woman um, who also took the journey up the mountain was deathly, let me tell you, deathly afraid of heights. But because of the support that she had, each woman had a man on either side kind of guiding them and, and holding them up. She realized that, you know, I'm never alone and I can overcome my fears. And guess what? Fear of heights are over, it's gone. She was able to conquer her fears. So guess what, ladies? I am so excited to share that I have a retreat coming to you soon. Yes, full of fun adventure oh and the sisterhood bonding on these retreats are amazing so many women don't have a sisterhood of women that they can talk to and connect with that are like-minded that are positive that are spiritual and that's what all of these women are about so if you're looking for a community of women then these retreats are for you plus you get the inner exploration and all of the things that we talked about before time for contemplation and reflection and really spending some some valuable time with the divine within you so i want you to do me a favor i want you to go on my website now www.blackbutterflyjourneys.com go under the retreat tab and check out the details for my upcoming retreats and i'm also going to put that link right below the video for you and then if you are interested please schedule some time to talk to me so that we can make sure that this retreat is a good fit for you as well as our community of women and then finally if you have a sister friend who you know would really get some value out of out of what i shared with you 
share this video with her. I, she'd really appreciate that. <sighs> so that's it for me, ladies. I so appreciate you taking the time to spend with me today. I do not take that for granted. I know that you're extremely busy, and so I really do appreciate that. I really hope and pray that you decide that this is the right journey for you. And if that's the case, and I so looking forward to having you. Thank you again, and I hope to talk to you soon. Have an amazing day. Bye.